Welcome everybody to our initial Fusion 360 setup tutorial. Now, we've already gone through, hopefully, the installation of it, so you have it up and running at this point. There's a few things, though, that we would like to change before we get started, and we should set up some preferences for our drawings. Mine's going to be slightly different because it's already been set up, but just follow along with what I have you do, and everything should work out well. The very first thing we want to do is go up to your name in the top left hand, excuse me, top right hand corner. All right. Um, this is where your preferences are hidden. So I'll be honest, I don't like that they hide them up in here, but once you get used to it, it's fine. If you click on your name and come down, you'll see it says preferences. Go ahead and click on that. And you're going to get this big menu that opens up. We're not really worried about anything until we get down here to where it says unit and value display. Okay. And we want to click on that and a couple things we want to change number one general precision general precision preferably if we're going to work in inches i want to have at least four decimal points a lot of times it defaults to two okay that's not precise enough for what we want to do so we're going to make sure we're at four decimal points okay so it'll say point one two three four the rest of them you can leave the same what we want to do then is come down to where it says minimum precision when hiding trailing zeros okay so if there are extra zeros i typically prefer to see at least three you don't need to i mean four is the same as 4.000 but i like to have three so let's go ahead and set that to at least three or four the other thing we want to change is our default units so under the default units tab you'll see the word design over here at the left click on design and yours is probably set to millimeters unless you've already changed it. You want to set it to inches for our course. So click on inches, and then you may click apply and then click OK. So at this point, we've now set up things. If for some reason you start working in your drawing and things aren't correct, go here to where it says document settings over in this left menu. Click the drop down arrow, choose units. If it says anything other than IN or inches, Click on this little icon, it looks like a notepad with a uh, pencil on it. It's going to open up this little menu. Make sure that you have it set to inch, and then you can click set as default, and then you can click OK. And at this point, you've got all of your preferences set for what we need. The next thing we want to do is we want to save a file. So jump to the next tutorial, and we'll talk about how to set that up and how to get a drawing started correctly, and then we'll move on.